It's the Deep South's oldest rivalry. Began in 1892. 112 years of football. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Birmingham Police Department. Residents in an area between 16th and 17th streets from 108th East Avenue to 109th East Avenue need to stay in their homes. Lock all doors. And are not to come outside as police are pursuing an armed suspect. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Birmingham Emergency Management. City of Mountain Brook residents, please lock all your doors immediately. Police are searching for one escaped inmate from the Birmingham County Jail who have been sighted in Mountain Brook. The suspect is a creature like female wearing a red t-shirt and blue jeans. It is 10 foot 4 inches tall and 1,359 pounds with black hair and is rolled up like a Christmas tree of some sorts and red eyes. If you have any information please contact Birmingham County Central Dispatch at 2058695288. Shoves him back into the grass. Boy, what a... These guys over and over again. Patrick has some time, going deep for Devontae Parker, two guys back there, and somehow, Parker comes away with it. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Birmingham Emergency Management, City of Mountain Brook, Vestavia Hills, Hoover, and Shelby residents, please lock all your doors immediately. The creature that has been nicknamed No has killed two and leaving five injured. Police effort has not helped. If you see Po, call 911 or call Popeyes at 2056462960. If you have any information, please contact Birmingham County Central Dispatch at 2058695288. Last chance for the Steelers. Bradshaw trying to get away. And his pass is broken up by Tatum. Tipped off. Rachel Harris has it. And he's over. Look. Rachel Harris. Grab the ball on a deflection. Five seconds to go. He grabbed it with five seconds to go and scores. Let's watch one this again. One million to one odds on this one. Watch this. Ricochet. Ricochet out there off of Jack Tatum and into the man of the year, Franco Harris's hands. When you talk about Christmas miracles, here's the miracle of all miracles. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Birmingham Emergency Management. 
City of Mountain Brook, Vestavia Hills, Hoover, and Shelby residents, please shelter in place immediately. The creature that has been nicknamed Poe stole 23 guns, including rifles, shotguns, RPGs, and pistols. More and more residents are getting killed or injured at the minute. If you see Poe, call 911 or call Popeyes at 205-646-2960. If you have any information, please contact Birmingham County Central Dispatch at 205-869-5288. Watch this one now. Bradshaw's lucky to even get rid of the ball. He shoots it out. Jack takes The following message is transmitted at the request of Shelby Emergency Management and the Alabama Emergency Management Agency. Watch for evacuation for all residents living in Shelby is in effect. This was issued at the recommendation of people who saw Poe in Jefferson County. The Class 1 emergency at Shelby will continue until creature inspectors evaluate Poe during daylight hours. This is for your safety. All residents living in Shelby should prepare to evacuate now. This includes HW 280 from Shelby South to US 70 West, Cahaba Creek Road from NC 80 to Diaper Lake Road, all of Mountain Brook Old Greenlee Road from Crane Resistiflex Road to Waterworks Plant, US 70 West from Overton Road Fire Department to North Main Street, all residences along the Cahaba River from Tom Johnson to Lake James. This includes developments that border the Cahaba River in the Summit community. Lakeshore Road off Hankins Road, Katie Did Drive Dialpricat Road, Riverbend Acres off Hankins Road, Cross Creek Drive from intersection of Hankins Road to the 300 block, all locations along US 221 Business, Garden Creek Road, North Main Street from Brookwood to US 70 W intersection, Burnett's Landing, Lake James Landing, Shelters are open at the following locations, YMCA of Lakeshore, near McDowell Hospital, O Lord Baptist Church Old Cat Baptist Church repeating, a watch for an evacuation for all residents living in Shelby continues. This is for your safety. All residents living in Shelby should prepare to evacuate evacuate now. Right hand, reach out over it, and got a piece of it. Campbell in the shotgun. Darnell Williams, flank to his right. Two line outs to the far side, one to the near side. Quick out to Ronnie Brown, catches it at the 45, runs over a man at the 50 in the Tennessee Territory. So it's Mix, Taylor, Aroma Shadu, the wide receiver to the far side of the field. Man in motion to the near side is Courtney Taylor. Here's Jason Campbell, short drop, quick out, thrown, and caught by Taylor. He's got a first down at the 45, still on his feet at the 40, inside the 35, to the 34-yard line. What a catch by Taylor. The following message is transmitted at the request of Shelby County Emergency Management. The Shelby Fire Department is directing citizens and residents in the area of Shelby, Walker, Jefferson, Tuscaloosa, Gadsden, Bessemer, Jasper, and Alabaster to leave as quick as possible. Poe has spawned destructive entities within the area. Bring food and water for a week and a battery-powered radio or weather radio. Poe is more dangerous than you think. A temporary reception center has been established at the Fart Housing Commission located AT601 West 1st Street in the city of Shelby. 
Stay tuned to media sources such as local television radio and NOAA weather radio for further instructions and issuance of an all clear message. Further information can be obtained by dialing 211. Firing ship receives the staff of scientific personnel which will time the experiment and set off the blast by radio beam. These are the instruments that will loose the bomb on the test area. Striking just below the surface, the nuclear release smashes at five times the speed in the compressed water as it would in the air. Signal, two minutes to go, and everyone in the fleet stands by to picture history in the making, a scene that excites even the most experienced newsmen. Throughout the observant fleet, all eyes are trained on the blast point. As previously conducted on shot Avon, radio-controlled B-17 aircraft were flown to gather air samples and to carry both television cameras and recording instruments into areas too dangerous for manned aircraft. One B-17 drone flew directly into the center of the radioactive cloud at 24,000 feet, approximately seven and a half minutes after detonation. Unlike on shot Abel, however, the drones returned with little good news about the aftermath of shot Baker.
This is a national emergency.